Welcome back to Race Report everyone. This weekend is the British Grand Prix and for the first time ever we'll be having an F1 sprint race on Saturday. So as this is a new concept for F1 fans I thought I would do a quick primer video on what a sprint race actually is. There will of course be fans familiar with other formula that do still have sprint races such as F2 for instance but for people who just watch F1 the concept will be very unfamiliar so I thought it'd be good to do a explanation. This weekend at Silverstone is the first of three tests this season that we'll see. So the weekend will look a little different. The first change you'll notice is that qualifying will be on Friday evening now. So they've moved qualifying from the usual Saturday slot to Friday evening. And this qualifying will set the grid for the sprint race on Saturday. If you want to tune in for qualifying, do it on the Friday evening so that you'll know the grid for the Saturday sprint race. That qualifying will be handled as normal, standard way we've always seen it. There'll be practice as usual on the Saturday morning, but then in the Saturday afternoon session is when we see the actual sprint race itself. Now we'll know the grid from that Friday qualifying. The sprint race will be 17 laps around the normal circuit. Everything is standard there. And the finishing positions from this sprint race will then be the qualifying positions for the cars on the Sunday proper race. So just to clarify, Friday qualifying sets the grid for the Saturday sprint race. The Saturday sprint race finishing positions after the 17 lap race sets the positions for the Sunday regular race. And the Sunday regular race is normal, nothing different about that. Another addition to the sprint race is that first, second and third will score championship points. Only very little, it's three for a win, two for second place, one for third place, but it still could be significant considering how the championship's shaping up this year. So with it being a 17 lap race on the Saturday, it is predicted that that race will only take around 30 minutes. I think the FIA has said there'll be a time limit of 60 or 90 minutes depending on red flags and stuff like that, you know, if we get a bunch of safety cars, what have you. But under normal racing conditions, it should only take about 30 minutes. You might be thinking, why have F1 done this? Why have they changed it? And that's a really good question. A lot of people are thinking the same. F1 have been looking to spice things up, make it a bit more interesting for a, a long while now. You might have heard uh, reverse grid orders proposed last year that were shot down. Uh, so this is kind of like another uh, another tactic they're using to you know try and get more people involved try and change it around make it a bit more interesting make the spectacle a bit more interesting but to f1's credit they have said they are going to be looking at feedback and they are going to be willing to change things if they feel they're not working if people tell them they're not working so but give it a watch at silverstone this weekend and if you don't like it let f1 know let the fia know obviously politely of course because it sounds like they're genuinely up for taking on feedback and changing it as they see fit but ultimately nobody knows how it's going to go right now obviously it's never been done before so this will be the first one there could potentially be a lot wrong with it of course that will hopefully get fixed for the next time but it could do exactly what they want it to do and it could spice up the racing and it could be very positive for the sport so we'll see how it goes personally I'm quite excited. I'll be there for the sprint race. So I'm looking forward to hopefully capturing some video, capturing some photos to share with you all as, along with my opinion of what it was like as a fan in the stands for the sprint race. So if you want to see that and see more from me, please do hit that subscribe button. It does help the channel out, so I'd appreciate that. But what do you guys think of the sprint race idea? Is there anything you'd like to see coming out of the race this weekend? Let me know in the comments and I'll catch you in the next one.